Hello children, in the previous lesson we learned about recording weather. We started with the chapter by learning about how significant is weather in our day-to-day -day life. How we plan our vacations based on weather, isn't it? We plan our food according, according to weather. We plan what, what to wear according to weather. So this is how weather is significant in our day-to-day -day life. And then we started by learning about recording weather. We learned about one element that is the air temperature. Where we learned that temperature of air which is also referred to as insulation. It is you. It is measured with the help of maximum and minimum thermometer or sixes maximum and minimum thermometer. This is what we covered in the previous class. We described what, uh, how sixes thermometer works. We learned about what is a Stevenson screen and why is Stevenson screen known as the um, instruments shelter. We learned how different instruments are kept inside the Stevenson screen for the accurate reading of the various instruments. Now today we will learn about the second element of weather that is pressure. We will try to understand the instrument used to measure pressure, the working of the instrument and we will try to understand how important is pressure um, uh, to us. Alright, so let us begin. Now what is atmospheric pressure? It is important that we know what is atmospheric pressure. Let us underline here. Atmospheric pressure, as we already know, air has weight and exerts pressure on the Earth's surface. This is collectively known as air pressure, which is also known as atmospheric pressure. So what is atmospheric pressure? Atmospheric pressure is the force exerted by the weight of air above us. So when the weight of air above us exerts, applies pressures on us, that is what is known as atmospheric pressure. Now, pressure can vary from place to place. The atmospheric pressure at a given time, at a given time, is the weight of the overlying atmosphere. All right. Now, then we learned about the second thing from here. That is how pressure behaves differently. Now, if you have to consider the atmosphere, which is a blanket of air, behaves differently from the air in a container. All right. Now, air in a container behaves differently than the air that is surrounding us. Why? This is because in a container it is vast and the force of gravitation pulls it down. The density and the pressure in air decreases with altitude. This is important. This is the relationship between pressure and altitude. The pressure decreases as we climb up. So higher you go up, what you'll notice that places will have low pressure. All right. Thus, air pressure varies from place to place and from time to time and is affected by temperature. Temperature also affects pressure, altitude, the height and even the earth's rotation affects pressure. All right. Now this picture here that is figure 5.4 is uh, trying to help us show how pressure is uniform in all direction unless an external force is applied on it. Now, if you look into this football, no external force is applied on it. So, pressure is uniform, same in all direction in this football. But if you look into this picture, we see a hand, we are pressing on the football. So, that is an external force that is applied on the football. Hence, pressure also changes in all different direction. So, what are we trying to conclude? We are trying to conclude by saying that pressure is same in all direction unless we apply an external force on it. Alright? Then, measurement of pressure. What is the instrument used to measure pressure? Atmospheric pressure is measured by an instrument called barometer. So barometer is the instrument to measure atmospheric pressure. There are two types of barometers which are popular with geographers. The geographers popularly use these two types of barometer. One is the mercury barometer and one is the aneroid barometer. All right. Now what is uh, mercury and what is aneroid, aneroid barometer? We will try to understand. But before that, please understand that pressure is an impact important indicator of weather okay whenever we think of weather it is not always temperature that plays an important role it is also pressure that is equally important to us when we have low pressure what does it mean low pressure means that there isn't enough force of pressure to push the clouds or storms away that is how we are associated with cloudy rainy and windy weather whereas when we have high pressure what happens high pressure pushes that cloudy and rainy weather out and clears the sky so that is how pressure is equally important in indicating weather all right so let us begin with the first instrument to measure pressure that is your mercury barometer 
Now, what is this what mercury barometer? Let me quickly give you an introduction about this mercury barometer. Mercury barometer is one of the oldest type of barometer. Okay, it was an it invented by an Italian scientist named Torselli. So it uh, was invented, and it is one of the oldest form of barometer. Now, what does it look like? Now, if you look in this picture, this is a mercury barometer 5.5, figure 5.5. Now, mercury barometer has a glass tube. If you look here, they have a glass tube. It's a tube made up of glass that is closed at the top. So, this glass tube is closed at the top. Do you see? It's closed at the top and is open at the bottom. Here, the bottom, it is open. At the bottom of a tube, what do you see? It's a pool of mercury. You see mercury inside. This is a pool of mercury. That is why we call this barometer as mercury barometer. So, what happens? How does this work? As the pressure increases, it forces the mercury up the tube. So when we have high pressure, this mercury is pushed up the tube. And so we can easily see, observers can easily see what the pressure is by looking at where the mercury stops in the barometer. When we see that the mercury is being pushed up, we should understand that it is pre high pressure. When the mercury is pulled down, we can understand that there is low pressure all right so mercury barometer that is underlined here is not very portable as it is too big okay first is too big second it is made of glass so inconvenient and contains liquid mercury so that mercury can spill so it is not very convenient and easy for people to use that is why aneroid barometer is preferred over mercury barometer so these are the disadvantages of mercury barometer one it is too big second it is made of glass so it's very fragile third it contains liquid mercury so it can spill over so it is not very easy and convenient for us to use now coming to the second type of barometer that is the aneroid barometer now aneroid barometer was invented by a french scientist named lucien vidi Android barometer has a circular display. Now, if you look into the top, this is what is known as a circular display. Like you have your watch, which has a circular display. This has been replaced by mercury barometer because more aneroid is uh, convenient to use. It's cheaper to buy and easy to transport since it has no liquid that could spill. Okay, so those are the advantages of aneroid barometer. Convenient, easier to use, cheaper to buy and easy to transport since they have no liquid that could spill. Now, what is this aneroid barometer? Let's under underline. Aneroid barometer is a very convenient to carry as it has no liquid in it. It is a metal box with partial vacuum. Now, if you look here, these are all made of metal box. And it has a chamber, a space for partial, some amount of vacuum to be stored. The box is made in such a manner that it is very sensitive. It expands when the pressure is low and it's compressed when the pressure is high. So, when the pressure is low, what happens? This pointer would expand. When the pressure is high what is happening this pointer would compress okay so that is how this pointer works the pointer at attached at the box indicates the atmospheric pressure and these are all the markings that is there in the pressure so this will help us to indicate what is the atmospheric pressure with the help of a pointer okay so that is about aneroid barometer it is not very accurate though because not as accurate but still it is convenient to use that is why people prefer using aneroid barometer because it is convenient and cheap to use with no liquid in it all right now there's something called a barograph okay a barograph is also used by meteorologists to record weather okay to record air pressure continuously and this instrument is like an aneroid barometer only but the pointer is replaced by a pen so instead of a pointer in a barograph you see a pen and that pen would do the marking on the graph all right so as the pressure increases the pen would you know peak high the markings would peak high as the pressure drops down the marking would be flat on the graph so that is what is a barograph all about which is also used by meteorologists all right now coming to the last Last part, what is the unit to measure pressure? The unit to measure pressure is millibars. Now, if you remember when we were learning about temperature, we learned that the unit to measure temperature is degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. Similarly, for pressure, it is millibars. Okay, the normal atmospheric pressure at is 1013 millibars. Okay, so if somebody would ask you what is the pressure, you'd always use millibars as the unit. So that is what we've covered.
Uh, thank you. If you have any questions, concerns, please feel free to get back. Thank you, everyone.